The thing that pisses me off most about Fallout 76 above all else is that this game represents just how little Bethesda seems to think of fans, gamers, and consumers as a whole. They actually thought they could get away with promising this incredible online Fallout experience before shipping a game that's early access at best and that barely functions from a creative, artistic, and technical standpoint. They knew exactly what they were doing by releasing the game in the state it launched, but they were confident that nobody would would raise an eyebrow that we would just eat up the turd they served to us on a silver platter. I don't have to tell you how that turned out. Fans of the series and video game enthusiasts are all livid that veteran AAA developer Bethesda would ship such an unacceptably shoddy product and charge a full $60 for it while adding ludicrously priced microtransactions along the way. Understandably, the release of Fallout 76 has planted a seed of doubt about prospects for upcoming titles like Starfield and Elder Scroll 6, especially considering Fallout 76 isn't the only instance we have seen years to decades old issues persisting with each new game, a result of the rocky foundation upon which their shoddy creation engine was built. Another point of contention has been Bethesda's unclear and unfriendly refund policies. Plenty of disappointed buyers who found the game too broken to enjoy are looking to get a refund, but while some players are reporting a painless process, others are seemingly being told they cannot get a refund because Bethesda's policy dictates that anyone who has downloaded the files to the game are automatically ineligible. Many have noted how a refund process would have been much more clear and painless had Bethesda hosted Fallout 76 on Steam rather than relegating it exclusively to their notorious Bethesda launcher, raising questions about their intentions or about prospects of all Bethesda games releasing exclusively to a proprietary launcher that's far less feature complete and whose policies are far less ideal than what you might find on Steam. But as if Bethesda didn't have enough negative PR to deal with as it is. A discovery regarding Fallout 76's Collector's Edition, the Power Armor Edition as it's known, is causing another wave of backlash. The following information was first reported on Reddit by a user going by the name Alexander D. Large, who found that one of the items that was shipped with the final Power Armor Edition package did not match what was advertised. The item in question is a duffel bag that's included alongside the life-size helmet and other merchandise. Looking at the bag from this promotional image, you can see very clearly that the bag looks like it's made of canvas material, and the item is even labeled as Canvas West Tech Duffel Bag, very clearly implying what the bag is supposed to be made out of. But what was actually included in the final package is a far shabbier and far cheaper bag made out of thin nylon rather than the advertised canvas one. Having received a Power Armor Edition from Bethesda myself, I can confirm that this is indeed true, and while I personally don't have much to complain about since I got the package for free from Bethesda for reasons I'm still not entirely clear about, you can imagine why those who purchased the Collector's Edition with certain expectations might find this to be a pretty scummy move on Bethesda's part. And I know that if I had spent $200 on this package and not gotten what was originally advertised, I would be pretty mad too. Since word about the duffel bag bait and switch began to spread, a few users reached out to Bethesda in an attempt to get some clarification on why the bag they got is different from one that was promised for this expensive bundle. One user finally got a response from Bethesda support, and here's what they had to say. Greetings, thank you for contacting Bethesda customer support. Due to unavailability of materials, we had to switch to a nylon carrying bag in the fall out 76 Power Armor Edition. We hope this doesn't prevent anyone from enjoying what we feel is one of our best collector's editions. Are you fucking kidding me? Bethesda thinks them being proud of the package they put together excuses falsely advertising one of the key items in it? Does it not stand to reason that if you tell people they're going to get one thing with their expensive purchase, but they end up receiving a compromised version of the product, they have every right to be upset and demand an explanation? As if that response wasn't baffling enough, another Bethesda representative had this to say to another user who complained about the downgraded duffel bag. Hello, we are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. Bethesda Gear Support North America. Just wow, they didn't so much as hesitate to tell disgruntled customers that nothing would be done about this and that they should just deal with it. 
with it. Honestly, this kind of scummy bait and switch on advertised merchandise for a bundle is the kind of crap you'd expect from a failed Kickstarter, not from a financially stable AAA publisher like Bethesda Softworks. Also, too expensive? Really? After all the money they made from highly successful releases like Skyrim and Fallout 4, are they honestly going to tell us that they couldn't afford limited-run canvas duffel bags for a collector's edition they're charging $200 for? And even assuming financial logistics somehow didn't allow Bethesda to make the duffel bags as originally advertised for whatever reason, why the hell were customers who were putting down $200 not informed about this issue? A simple email email or an official update notifying everyone that the canvas duffel bag would be replaced by a nylon one, explaining the reasoning behind this in great detail, and showing pictures of the final product would have allowed buyers to react accordingly before getting to a point of no return, and all of this could have been prevented. But instead of doing their due diligence, they let buyers discover the unfortunate downgrade after they have received and opened the package, and after they can no longer get a refund as per Bethesda's return policy, which stipulates that a physical package that's been opened cannot be returned and that limited edition products cannot be refunded after an order has been placed. And then, customer support has the audacity to suggest that people should just be happy with what they got because they think what they put together was a really good package, and they have the audacity to dismiss people's qualms by declaring nothing will be done about this. But the creme de la creme is the response that the official Fallout Twitter page provided, which reads, quote, We understand and respect that there is disappointment with the bag in the Power Armor Edition. We are sorry. Please contact Bethesda Support to provide proof of your collection collector's edition purchase. They will assist you in granting your account 500 atoms. Atoms are of course the premium currency that Fallout 76 employs to sell ridiculously overpriced cosmetic items, and 500 atoms roughly translates to $5. Yup, for the trouble of knowingly deceiving customers who spend $200 on a flawed collector's edition, they are offering a whopping $5 worth of premium currency that will barely get you anything worthwhile in this overpriced catalog in an utterly dysfunctional game. Not only is this whole ordeal a blatant clear-cut case of false marketing, this is also one of the worst responses to community backlash and one of the worst ways a company has taken responsibility for wrongdoing I have ever seen. It doesn't help matters that this whole situation is the perfect metaphor for Fallout 76 itself. If you think about how Fallout 76 was advertised in the days, weeks, and months leading up to its launch, with Todd Howard talking about how this game has 16 times more details than Fallout 4, how there are employees employing new rendering and lighting techniques, how this is the most effort Bethesda has put into a game, and advertising it like it's the next coming of Jesus before shipping a fundamentally broken game, it's all very much like being told we would get a nice canvas bag, only for them to pull the rug under us and give us a crappy nylon bag instead. What Bethesda pulled here with a duffel bag and the way they thought they could get away with it is the perfect encapsulation of everything Fallout 76 represents. A company that has stopped giving a shit. Seriously, Bethesda, what the hell are you doing? You honestly thought nobody would bat an eye to this? That this would in any way be okay? What kind of morons do you take us for? It sucks that I'm even saying this, but I honestly hope Fallout 76 critically and commercially crashes and burns. Bethesda needs some kind of reality check, because right now, these guys are living under some kind of delusion of grandeur, and I'm starting to lose a whole lot of respect for the once beloved company. Bethesda better provide a more appropriate response to this situation soon, because if it really turns out that their response will be to just sit on their asses, do nothing about it, offer some chump change amount of premium currency as consolation, and wait for the shitstorm of their own making to blow over, the message they will send to the whole world is that they have stopped giving a fuck, and that's about the worst message you can send in this current climate. Frankly, with how Fallout 76 launched, some would argue Bethesda really has stopped caring, because a company that's actually passionate and proud about their work would never ship a game in such a disgraceful fashion. And they would ensure that fans who paid $200 for a premium package 
got their money's worth without underhanded switcheroos and insultingly dismissive responses. Fuck, I'm actually really angry about this, and I know it's just a duffel bag, but it's the principle of it. It's how this is all so representative of the studio's falling standards, and it's about how little Bethesda seems to care nowadays, which is so crushing for me to see as someone who grew up loving their games. Bethesda really has their work cut out for them with Starfield, and whereas before I was resolutely excited for it, now I'm going to approach my anticipation with trepidation, because this does not feel like the Bethesda I once knew. Anyway, that's all I have to say on the matter. I'd love to hear what your take is on all of this in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.